Hey guys, welcome to another video for Vayu and Bhima that is the Poco X3 Pro and today we are talking about the unofficial version of Pixel Experience Plus for this wonderful wonderful device. It has got recently updated, I've installed it yesterday, ran a few benchmarks, checked the change log and I thought I should share this ROM with you. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people with similar devices talking about ROMs, recoveries and a lot of interesting stuff. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Poco X3 Pro. We are looking for the change log of this wonderful, wonderful ROM. Let's increase the brightness a little bit for you guys. There you go. So Pixel Experience Plus unofficial Android 11 updated on the 16th of August 2021. As far as the device change log is concerned, fixed camera in some applications, WhatsApp, Instagram, used Mochi kernel, the latest one, compiled with latest Proton Clang, which is always a good thing. Upstream Pixel Experience source with August security patch, so that is good. Added Gcam Go, another good thing. Added overlay notch bar killer add missing surface flinger and SSR props, enable the pre-rendering feature. Okay, that's neat. Other improvements, suggested firmware 12.5.2, SE Linux status is enforcing, safety net passes out of the box, ships with G apps, differences between PE and PE+. You can go ahead and click on that link and see the differences for yourself. But for me, that looks like a pretty, pretty good and substantial changelog. Although this is the unofficial version we are talking about, but hey, Pixel experience is still pixel experience. So let's dive into settings right away and let's go to about phone and click on the Android version. Now you will see Android version 11 security patch is the latest August security patch. And as rightly mentioned, this is the latest Mochi kernel. So my experience with this ROM has been that the ROM is really, really smooth. It's not as smooth as AeroOS with lip kernel, but you know, when you boot for the first time, you're greeted with this clean look of Poco X3 Pro looking like a pixel device. And to the left, you do have your Google feed, which is working as smooth as you can expect with the 120 Hertz display. At the top over here, you do have your quick tiles. You have stuff like caffeine and screen record. So let's click on screen record over here and you have an option to record device audio and microphone. That means it will record internal and external audio together. You do get a timer and then the screen recording starts. But let's check if while recording the screen, is there any stutter in the UI? I cannot notice any stutter in the UI. So let's quickly go ahead and stop the screen recording over here. And you should get a notification that the screen recording has completed. There you go. I have muted the audio, so yeah, it did record my audio. So pretty neat feature there. The screen record is working as expected. Now, because this is Pixel Experience Plus, it doesn't come with a ton of bloatware. It just comes with the Google applications which you will need in that particular ROM. So let's go to settings over here. Let's see what this ROM actually looks like. So if you go to battery, you do have the option of thermal profiles. Now. Another good thing is because we have thermal profiles, you can actually go ahead and set the thermal profiles the way you want. Although what is missing in Pixel Experience Plus unofficial and I think even the official version is a dedicated gaming mode. So, you know, it doesn't make any sense for me to go through each and every setting over here because Pixel Experience Plus or Pixel Experience is a very, very common and famous ROM and everyone knows what that is. So let's talk about the essentials, share the benchmarks and get done this with, with this video so that we can focus on better things to do. All right. So first thing is the battery life. The battery life for me has been pretty decent, although this is a quick look or first look. If you can look over here one hour screen on time and 10 hours ago it was charged and we still have 83 percent battery the fast charging for me has been working just fine do keep in mind guys when you check charging on custom roms make sure your phone has you know less than i don't know 60 or 70 percent battery make sure your battery temperature is not above 37 38 because if the phone's battery is warm or if you have more than 80 percent battery the phone will charge slow 
it is a feature and not a problem so don't confuse there okay because you don't get to know all these things in miui it doesn't show you the charging current and stuff so people who are using custom roms for the first time when they see lock screen charging info they think that the phone is charging really slow the rom has a bug or the charger has a problem nothing like that high battery temperature slow charging battery percentage above 80 percent slow charging and as i said for me the charging has been just fine and the whole ui has been smooth and fluid so i've not really really had any problems so if you go to display over here and if you go to advanced the minimum refresh rate is 60 and 120 so if you keep it to 120 always it becomes ever so slightly smooth games have been working fine i don't think it deserves a dedicated gaming video because yeah i mean you can game on it it the benchmark numbers will tell you if we need a dedicated gaming video or a live stream or not let's have a look at the benchmark numbers now as you can see over here cpu throttle to 94 percent of its max performance average performance is 181 765 gips so at least the cpu throttle score is pretty pretty significant and good let's talk about the second benchmark that we always try that is geekbench 771 single core 2636 multi-core i did have a small stutter there i don't know why if you go to enter to benchmark the score is 574,000. 717 so the scores are on par with what you would expect from a stock snapdragon 860 on a poco x3 pro so no surprises there now let's talk about safety net because that will determine how your banking applications will run safety net is passing out of the box and if you had l1 certification working just fine it should continue to give you content in hd because it does say the security is wide wine l1 so all in all pixel experience plus the latest version of the august security patch and the august update with mochi kernel for me has been a pretty good all-rounder you can install it use it as a daily driver pretty much game on it and you should not have any problems at all let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye